I'm going to ask you to, to for your takeaways too. Uh, but Michelle, I do have a question. Um, you know, the, the Ringling Brothers lawsuit. I mean, that was disheartening, I guess, to, to, to look at, at, at exactly what happened. But we know they, they've gone out of business, or they're going out of business. Ultimately, at the you know at the end of the day, did the, did the extremists win? I don't. I don't think they. I don't think they did. Um, there's been press statements from the company about what their decision was and what motivated it. Um, I think it was multifactorial. Um, I do think that, um, and I think the company has acknowledged that taking the elephants out of the circus and retiring them wasn't what people wanted. Um, yeah. But I think what is what is a, was of equal concern was not any defeat um, suffered in a lawsuit against the activists. Of course they won. Um, but more of the legislation around the country that was trying to ban exotic animals and the way that you can present them um, was a problem. And then just shifting and changing consumer entertainment choices and some such thing. Um, so in, in some ways, yeah, it is, it is disappointing. Um, it's the end of an era, yeah, so to speak. Sad. But, um, you know, that case keeps getting quoted back in other courts when um, the presumption is when a do-gooder organization is in a lawsuit that they could do nothing wrong and there's nothing to see here. And this has now been cited to say, but wait, maybe we need to keep looking. So I think it's a precedent that's very useful across the board. All right. So your take-home message that you want people to go home with, Greg, we can, we can start with you. Right. Don't assume you can do things like you've always done them. It gets us in trouble every time. I'll repeat compliance and and um, and also have your um, marketing, advertising, and outward facing to the public folks communicate with legal and make sure that things, even on a very informal basis, engaging with folks in social media, also is complying with laws of your state and um, and federal regulations, so that you don't unwarily find yourself in one of these consumer uh, situations. So I've heard this a couple times today, transparency. I think Tim talked about transparency. Uh, again, as Michelle uh, has said, the compliance is a huge issue. If you're going to do it, say you're going to do it, you better be doing it. And that's why we think we you know, survive this, because we don't give the critics, the activists, the anarchists any extra ammunition to shoot back at us. Because if not for some of these undercover videos, we would be having a different discussion with talking about the circus, talking about SeaWorld, talking about some of these other issues. We got to quit giving them the ammunition and that compliance, that sustainable compliance and improvement is what you got to do and that's, that comes back to transparency.